When it comes to our next guest, you'll remember her best as Monica from Touched by an Angel, where she helped others who were at crossroads in their lives. Now she has a new project as the executive producer and star in the series The Baxters. Please welcome Roma Downey to DVL. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hey. Hello. Hello. So looking back on your time on Touched by an Angel, and I never missed an episode, you say Della Reese was like a second mom to you. So can you tell us how? Oh, yeah. I mean, what an extraordinary, amazing, wonderful, feisty, funny, loving lady she was. She was such a gift to me. My own mother had died when I was just a little girl. And when we were filming together, tragically, Della's only daughter passed. Mm. And she said to me not long after, she said, you know, baby, God is amazing because I always knew that he brought you, me into your life because you needed a mama. She mm. said, I just didn't realize that he was bringing you into my life because I was going to need a baby girl. She oh. said, will you be my daughter? And I said, yes. And she said, then I am your mom. Wow. And she was, and I had the privilege of loving her right through to the end of her life just a few years ago. And she was just, you know, she was like, she was one of a kind, really. So the relationship that you saw of Tess and Monica on screen was reflected very much in the off screen, real life, loving relationship of myself and Della Reese. Oh my gosh, wow. Dang, you really got me. Yeah. <laughs> that was so beautiful. Do you think that there are angels walking amongst us today? I do, absolutely. I think that, you know, and sometimes, I mean, do you not sometimes feel you get a nudge to call somebody? I think they work through All us. All the time. Mm. Through the goodness and the kindness and the serendipity or coincidence. We used to always say that, that coincidence was God's way of remaining anonymous. And when I think of the ways that things have showed up in my life, you know, I just, listen, you guys, you know, you're in the news business and often it's bad news that you're reporting on. But there are so many good people doing good things all the time. And we just, it's, we're not as noisy. We need to make more noise for the good guys, I say. I have been saying that for seven seasons. Yeah. I've been saying that. I said the, the good ones are quiet. I've been saying it. I just, now we have. They don't want to get involved, but I think the voice is getting louder. So thank yeah. you for that. I know. I know. We need to. We need to make more noise. And, and that's really why I wanted to make this new TV show. You know, everybody had said to me, we need a show like Touched by an Angel back on the air. And when I came across this best-selling book series by Christian author Karen Kingsbury, I thought this could be. The, the the next great new family drama, and uh, and Karen agreed to entrust me with the the option to bring it to TV, and that's what we've done. And we're thrilled that Amazon's Prime Video is going to launch it this Easter season. It's a show ultimately about hope. The show plays out like a hope opera, and uh, and uh, you know Easter is our hope holiday. Families will be gathered together. We hope that they'll be curled up on the couch together watching the Baxters on Prime. Well, you know, on this show, the Baxters, you play a mom whose adult children are going through some highs and lows in life. So, as a mom yourself, do you share any of those similar similarities with your character and how that character handles yes, family I mean, drama? I think that um, I certainly have a mother's heart uh, and I, I didn't immediately think I would step into the role of Elizabeth Baxter. Um, I ended up doing so. I'm glad that I did. I haven't been on a TV series for a very long time. I've been the other side of the camera producing. Um, but I, I love this woman because she's a prayer warrior. She's kind and compassionate and empathetic, uh, but she's also fierce when she feels anybody is threatening or hurt, going to hurt her children. The kids are five adult children. Oh, we have a wonderful group of actors. Ted McGinley stepped in to play my husband, John Baxter. My own real life daughter, Riley, plays my youngest daughter on the series, Erin. So it was a real family affair. Um, but it's they're great storylines. Listen, they're a family of faith. But they're not a perfect family by any means. They, they're going to face all the challenges that you or I might face, face, you know, just because 
you have faith doesn't make you immune to uh, heartache when it shows up. And, and you know, you live long enough, you learn that heartache is going to show up for just about everybody. That's... But it's how the family deal with it, how they deal with it together. It's a, it's a new way to model family on TV. And if you and if you don't relate to this family, you, you know, I, I know that you're going to fall in love with them. You're going to see yourself in one of the characters or you're going to wish it was a family like yours. That's it's, amazing. Uh, That's there's beautiful. nothing like it on TV. So I love I'm it. That's thrilled it. and I hope you guys enjoy it. Like we can't yeah. wait. It's a roadmap for a lot of people. Roma, thank you so much for joining us today. You really put us in such a beautiful she mood. She really did. She <laughs> lifted the room. I feel My it. Goodness. DVL Nation, The Baxters yeah. premieres March 28th on Amazon Prime. I know our audience will want to watch it. Thanks again, Roma, for being that Ooh, angel. Thanks.